So here we go again. Uh, precisely a year ago, we took the same trip. Uh, we went to Paris, we went to Rome, we went to Naples, we went to Florence. Um, it was a debut for uh, Oki Bespoke, and today we're having a year anniversary. We're going back to Florence uh, for Pitti Uomo, and so we're going to be covering the next three days all the events at Pitti. Um, I thank you once again for being part of this journey, uh, following the channel, and uh, I hope to bring you more videos. We're going to be covering artisans, we're going to be covering um, you know stylists, we're going to be talking, covering individuals, what have you. So uh, I think you're going to love it. So, Do you feel out of place like all your all the other young people are wearing jeans and sneakers? I, I think that uh, someone has to feel comfortable with this That's the key to, to look very, very healthy. So what are you wearing? Sort of explain to us. I am wearing a, a navy suit, a navy blue, a tie with a, a white shirt with double cuff uh, under a, a, a beautiful herringbone coat, charcoal yeah, herringbone coat, and the gloves. So, nice to meet you again. And uh, I'm always fascinated when I see women at Pitti because it's unusual. You know, it's mostly a men's sort of good thing. So when I see women like you who take an interest in men's fashion, I want to learn a little bit more. So tell us a bit more about yourself and what you're doing here, where you're from, and so on and so forth. Well, I'm a Finnish journalist and I specialize in fashion. Okay, fashion, I think the gender is sort of Especially well, well, I come from Scandinavia, from the Nordic countries, and there the gender has never played such an important role. Where we like minimalist fashion, we like androgen fashion, and I think that the time for that kind of specific male female leaders is over. Um, I usually come to speak here like this because just like you, I come here to observe like a journalist. Uh, so do you find it sort of like too affected or do you think sort of this is giving where making a return to the 1930s and 40s where elegance was, uh, was, uh, was um, prioritized? Or do you think this is just sort of a still a narrow subculture or niche uh, in a... Uh, there has always been well-dressed gentlemen, no matter, even in the Roman days, it's always been. Like, I think it's innate, not only in women, it's in perceived in our culture, but also in men, to dress well, to show your persona to stuff. And I think that doesn't have a time, a specific time for it. Of course, here we're in Italy, and it's part of Italian culture as well. Men dress well, women dress well, and they effort in the clubs and on the policy of their So, of course, here is a concentration. Well, thank you. Thank you very much for your respect. So, Martina, very nice to meet you. You know, you guys walked in here, you are Marco, and I was like, wow. You know, look at two young people. You know, how old are you? 20. So, I mean, you guys are 20 and you dress like you came out of a 1920s, you know, star catalog. Please stand up. I want to show, I want to show them what you're wearing. Amazing, I love it, I love it, I love it. This is just so 1930, so I like to see this when I see young people who have this sort of beautiful taste. So, great pleasure meeting you, and uh, welcome to PT. So tell us a little bit about Gab. Gab is a shop in Milan, close to the center of the town. And we used to sell this book, nine. Produced by us, directly. It's a 
made in Italy and crafted it. And uh, you can also see Italy more in Naples, usually. And we have uh, also a multi brand uh, shop. We used to sell, uh, above all, uh, made in Italy brand. Like uh, Manifattura Ceccarelli, Officine Creative, Boglioli Jacket. So you're an investment banker by training, like me, or a financier? No, no, I'm, I'm involved in fashion for more than 15 years before. I used to work for an investment fund. Then I leave to put in place my private deal. It was a family buyout with my wife. We bought a company, a producing company. We used to produce clothes, family clothes, family clothes. Then we leave in 2011, and right now I start uh, to have my own shop uh, because uh, going directly to the final market is uh, preferable at this moment. Than to the the other. Yeah. From my point of view, yeah. Very good, very good. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. And uh, I will visit you when I come to Milan. Thank you. Thank I wait you. for you to offer an aperitivo. Very good. Thank very you. good. Bye. Thank you. Thank you very much.